in industry itself, the guys look out. So all three companies would look out and, and obviously see something. And we have had in the past where there has been somebody trying to do Uber. And right away the guys picked up on it. And the traffic office was advised of it and they took it forward. And so you don't, think it's a, you don't think it's a concern here down the road? It may be. I don't have a crystal ball and I can't tell you yes or no. There's already been one uh, report prepared for the board uh, prior to Christmas when uh, Chief uh, Cook was here and we're working on information right now and they're still I think today is uh, they're uh, releasing what they're actually doing in Toronto with uh, with regards to a bylaw or some changes so we are collecting information. Uh, North Bay is not going to be oblivious to the issue but uh, um, you know it's something that we're the world's changing it's something that we're uh, we're going to have to look at. And it's definitely something that's still out there and I mean again when when and if we have to deal with that, uh, we're going to rely on the North Bay Police Service and the City of North Bay to stand behind the bylaw that they have written that governs our industry. I mean, uh, we're mandated, as you saw, to provide, uh, you know, proof of commercial taxi insurance every year and uh, four safeties a year and we pay a certain amount of rates to the city on renewal every year and all of those things, the rates, I mean, they're, they're looking at dropping our rates. Uh, Uber can come in and charge whatever they want. They can undercut the rate if they want. They can offer surge pricing. I mean, if we could offer surge pricing, it would, I, I'd be able to retire before I'm 95. Or Uber uh, s tells their customers that in certain time zones of the day or when there are expected um, busy points on a weekend, you know, if there's a hockey game happening in Toronto or uh, a festival, uh, they can offer surge pricing and what that does is that it brings more drivers out but it also sometimes inflates the price of that fare 300 400 percent there's no regulation on it so Greg orders an Uber and pays seven dollars one day but the next weekend he's going out and uh, Toronto Maple Leafs are in the playoffs uh, you know your taxi fare is all of a sudden thirty dollars